What's going on guys? The Comics Kid 299 here. Welcome to day 237 of the 365 day graphic novel review challenge. Today I want to talk to you about a book called Faster Than Light, uh, written and drawn by Brian Haberlin. Uh, the premise of this book is that humanity has discovered the means to travel uh, faster than the speed of light, and so we get to see uh, these human beings go on a mission in a spaceship, and uh, their mission is kind of uh, weird. Uh, this book feels like a cross between uh, the movie Alien and uh, the television series Star Trek. Uh, they are on uh, two separate missions at one point, and their first mission kind of feels like the movie Alien, with these uh, alien life forms that are very deadly to them, and they get on this planet and they don't really know what they're getting into. That's very much like the movie Alien. And then the rest of this book kind of sort of feels like uh, the Star Trek TV show where they are encountering all these alien species and then uh, they're meeting uh, new life forms and uh, they're basically on the final frontier uh, seeing what's out there uh, for the very first time. Uh, this book uh, wants to be very interesting and it wants to be something that I would like very much but unfortunately it doesn't quite get there. Uh, the big problem that I have with this book is that there are are so many characters in this book and there are so many names being thrown out there it's really difficult for me to connect a name to a face and also uh, the first roughly third of this book is trying to let us get to know these characters uh, the first third is uh, telling us who these characters are and telling us what their mission is uh, while also hinting that there's more going on here in this book than what the audience knows about and then the second third of this book is kind of like the movie alien you've got these little worm creatures uh, they absorb heat and then these guys are trying to get these worm creatures off the ship and then get them uh, to stop coming towards planet Earth. And then the third chunk of this book is very much a Star Trek story where we meet these little hamster aliens and then we find out there's more to them than what we at first thought. Uh, the problem that I have with this book, uh, like I said, so many characters and it's hard for me to connect a name to a face. And in fact, some of these characters look a lot alike. Uh, there are two characters I'm thinking of who look very similar. It was very difficult for me to tell them apart. Uh, that and also at the beginning of the book, there are actually two spaceships starting at the same point and they're going off on separate missions and I was having trouble keeping up with who was on which spaceship which mission each spaceship was on and why they are each going on these missions uh, they are talking very vague at the beginning of the book uh, one of them is saying hey so I'm going on this top secret mission as you know and uh, we're trying to find something as you know and uh, it's really difficult trying to figure out what's going on by the end of this book I still don't know what that small spaceship's mission was. Uh, this book is very vague about it. Uh, it's very vague about what all of these characters do and do not know. Uh, we find out over halfway into the book that most of the people on this other spaceship don't actually know that humankind has actually had alien contact once before. And that was something that was a little confusing to me because I was hearing all these characters talk about how they did not have alien contact. And then you've got these other characters talking about the Aurelians or something like that and the Aurelian database. And I was a little confused about that. Uh, so this book, I feel like, has all of this information that it's trying to throw at us and all of these characters that it's trying to throw at us. And I think if it had followed the words of my creative writing professor from college, keep it simple, stupid, uh, try and rein it back a little bit. You can give us some of this information on down the line, uh, but keep it simple, keep the cast small, uh, keep everything simple, and then you can give us some twists like, hey, humankind has had alien contact once before, and it would be much easier for someone like me to keep up with all of that. As is, by the end of this book, there's still so much that I feel like I'm supposed to know uh, that the writer knows, but I don't know. And uh, I think part of that is because he wasn't doing a very good job delivering all these information and all this twist uh, to us uh, in this book. Uh, like I said, uh, there's one ship that goes on a mission, and I have no idea what their mission is by the end of this book. Uh, there's so much here that uh, wants to be good, wants to be something that I would be very much interested in. I really love science fiction. I like Star Trek. I like the movie Alien. In theory, this should have been something right up my alley. But the way it was presented, uh, how all these characters were just kind of thrown at us at the first chunk of the book, in what is, in my opinion, the most boring part of the book, uh, it really made this book not nearly as interesting as I wanted it to be. Uh, so those are my thoughts on Faster Than Light by Brian Haberlin, and uh, is written and drawn by Brian Haberlin, and uh, I believe there is a sequel to this. This kind of ends on a cliffhanger, and uh, on the side it does say Volume 1. 
I won't be reading Volume 2. Uh, I, as far as I know, I don't have that. I've got a whole lot of books downstairs that I haven't read, but as far as I know, I don't have Volume 2, but uh, I will not be reading Volume 2. Uh, this book did not uh, do anything for me to make me want to keep reading with this series, unfortunately. Uh, so those are my thoughts on uh, Faster Than Light. I hope that you guys liked this video, and if you did, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back tomorrow with a different video. In the meantime, you guys have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.